over the game from the Olympiad. So white is, this is the match uh, Norway versus US that played today. And uh, this is the, the fourth board. And we have uh, the Grandmaster from Nor Norway, Urkedal, 25-37. Yeah, his, his, his name is first, he's white, yes. And this is the game by Sam Shankland. He played really well this game and won. And this was the first win for the US team. Very nice game by Sam. So, E4, C5, guys. Let's take a look at this opening. First question comes to you. What's the name of this opening? Many hands, excellent. You. Sicilian, Sicilian defense, excellent choice. Even though Sam was playing black, he chose to play in a good opening, aggressive opening, and uh, to go for a win instead of trying to just make a draw with black. And uh, this was a great opening choice. Knight f3, d6. Knight f6, a6. What's the name of this system? We know the opening is called Sicilian defense, but then what's the name of this system here that he just played? Because if you play g6, that's a different system. Right? What system is this? Artu? This one or the other one? This one. Uh, this is the dragon. Dragon? And this dragon. one is the one that Sam played is? Nidorf. Okay? The Very sharp line. Okay, this guy goes bishop g5. Knight bd7. Queen e2. h6. g6. Interesting move. He just wants to go bishop to g7 to do the fianchetto. And uh, I don't know how much the theory in this is, but it uh, doesn't look like a big theoretical idea. But now, actually, uh, when he plays this g6, besides bishop g7 here, now e5 tells us his plan is actually to prevent the knight from coming to f5. That's what he's trying to do, okay? So he's attacking the knight. Knight b3 and bishop b7. So he just keeps the bishop on e7. Because obviously, if you make the move e5, you're not going to go bishop g7. Because then d6 pawn drops. So he goes bishop b7. King b1, b5. In this opening, it's a prophylactic move. It's a, it's a useful move. You put the king to a safer square, not on the open, half open file. So now, b5, in this opening, it's not so important to castle right away. It's more important to play this move, bishop b7, rook c8. And that's what he is doing here, okay? a3, queen c7 first. Queen f8. He wants to put the king on g7, perhaps. That's why he played the move king f8. He didn't want to castle because this pawns are a little bit loose, so he thought maybe keep the rook on h8 is fine. And Urkedal, Urkedal is trying to be aggressive. I mean, he had the white pieces, and uh, yeah, he he's trying to also you know do something here on the king side. But Shankland goes knight b6 now, trying to go knight c4. Okay, take on a3 and try to put pressure. G3, rook b8. You, rook is very useful on this b file here. You'll see later on. Bishop b6, very big decision. Very big decision uh, to give up the bishop here. But I believe he felt already in some sort of danger here. Knight c4, even knight a4 ideas. I mean, there's a lot of pressure here. So that's why he took. Then bishop h3. Hey, it looks like simple, just exchanging kind of idea. But the problem for him is, the bad news is, his king is going to be under a tremendous attack here. A5. Trunkland is very seriously trying to attack now. Rook C8. Now B4, A4, they both need to be considered. Knight D5. Urkidel is trying to exchange pieces here. Rook takes D5, but the problem for him is, he is one move too slow here. If he could have a pawn on c3 here, he can try to restrain the advance of the white pawns. Because that way, a3, he can just go back and there's no before break. But now he is just late. a4 hitting the knight. Knight is under attack. You cannot do that. And now, Shankland breaks through with b4. Now, 
The lines are gonna go open and whose pieces are gonna be active on those lines? Black pieces. Yeah, I, I started watching this game around 8 a.m. this morning and no, no, it no, I'll, no. I was, I was watching it online, the games. So, you watch online, chess24.com, chess bomb website. So it's like you can watch the games online. So here he played, 93, and here, who is gonna find the neat move here by, Grandmaster Shankland, to get the first win for the USA team. Yes. Pay attention. Pay attention. What is the guy trying to do? Oh, um, Pay very close attention. Yeah, he wants to take your queen. You need a strong move. You know. You need it not just any move. You need a strong move here to do this. Yes. What's the move, Tiran? Close, very close, very close, but unfortunately not that. A little bit fancier. Yes, yes. And he is getting it. Bravo, Queen C3. Look at that move. Now the point is, what is Black threatening now? Arjun. A3. Yes. A3. Rook B2 threat, and if B3, then just A2 takes Rook A, check, and mate. So let's say you go here, he goes here, threatening mate, Rook B2 ideas, check, check, and a mate. Okay? Okay, so A3 is very strong. So now he goes here, King C1, <coughs> trying to unpin the pin, you know, at least. I mean, he cannot really defend this position. I mean, his position is really, really bad here. And uh, Bishop is not in the game yet. You know, if Bishop was in, it would be completely lost immediately. But now, what's the move here? The queen is under attack. So what do you do now? Mm -hmm. Takes your queen. d2 and stops it you don't want to give up your queen in order to try to queen so something better here now we just played here actually queen c4 it's an excellent move now trying to get in here white king is completely weak here with no defenses around it okay and now if he tries to repeat and goes here now which guy is going to get involved the a guy is going to get involved now threat is rook takes b2 check Knight cannot take it, it's hanging. So he goes b3, queen c3. With the powerful threat of push. If he moves away, queen, mate, check, checkmate. It's always nice when you're about two, two hours into the round, you're playing black and your team is already leading by one. So it was. There was the, the result of the match was never in doubt. You know, Carlson didn't get anything. He was in fact slightly worse against Caruana, but Caruana just repeated at the end because it was good enough. Wesley was also slightly better the whole game, maybe even much better in some point, but didn't take too much risk. Hikaru won another excellent game, and this was the Shankland game. So, so uh, yeah, his opponent. Uh, I don't know what he did. He played Rook H2. Really don't understand this move. That's just not doing anything, basically. So what's the move? Why did we go Queen, queen C4? To play what? Not only Arjun. A3. Played A3. Takes first. Because there's no B3 now, Arjun. Rook takes B3. Okay? So he takes. And now, Michael? Now you can do. Now, no defense in this position. Now, the threat is... Let it check. And pick up the pawn on c2. I mean, black pieces are all over the place. Two rooks and a queen, really, really dominating position. King b1, he's trying to escape. Are you gonna let him do that? No. 
Oh, of course not. Check. Now he goes here. Queen a3, take the pawn back and threaten threaten a mate on c1. So the only way to prote protect is queen d2. Oh. And now, now it's time to pick up some material, right? Oh, I see. You see it? Yeah, go. Thank you very much for the pawn, check. He blocks it up. Yes. Absolutely, and this was the last game of the game because it looks really, really painful to even see, watch this for why? Because he's down two pawns and he's under tremendous attack and no counterplay. And the next move is to win the third pawn, and Bishop is going to join in the action. Bishop on g5 is going to be really deadly because it's going to just simply, you know, attack the queen and threaten to win. So, a very convincing victory. For Shanklin, yeah, his opponent just resigned here because he just, you know, he was just really, really, really bad. So very, very convincing victory. And, uh, you know, at the moment, as I mentioned, at the moment, we're tied for first with Ukraine uh, with uh, 16 points. Uh, we're, we're in first place. We're a better tiebreak than Ukraine. We defeated Ukraine, actually, in our, our own match. But... Uh, uh, there is Russia a point behind, so it's still Russia doing. Russia doing they're doing all right. I mean, but uh, so it's very important. If U.S. wins their remaining two matches, I don't think anything will have a, still a better tiebreak, even if Ukraine wins. So I think we're still uh, doing great. But the most important thing is just not to make sure no slips, no accidents against teams that we're supposed to beat tomorrow. Georgia. And we have played already all the top teams, so the final round will have, we'll play probably a strong team again, but we'll be favorite against any of them. So this is the big game, okay? With block winning in a team advance like this, it's very, very important. Let's see now if you remember this game. From beginning till the end, 31 moves. All right, let's see the over review now. Go. Which opening we have right now? Sicilian, Sicilian defense. And which line of the Sicilian Shankland is playing? Yes? Nidorf. All right. Now he's trying to take and double up the knights. Knight uh, bd7, you're not letting that happen. Question it. G6. Yeah, it looks like he wants to go bishop G7. That's actually what I thought in the beginning also. But actually, but actually you want to play E5 mainly. That's his main idea, okay? Okay, focus on the, this. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Now, what's the move? Why did he play G6, remember? Arjun. Yes. Continue. Yo. Bishop P7. And now, what is the typical idea here for Black to do? Typical idea for Nidorf. So, what's the move here? Yes? B5. B5, bishop B7, right? Gotta play active. Now? Yes? Queen C7 first. Now? King F8 now. See, he didn't want to put a bishop there on b7 because it's kind of not doing anything against the e4 pawn. So he wants to go knight b6, rook b8, right? That's kind of a good idea. You know, it's... Yes? h4. Urkadel is trying to attack now. Yes? Excellent. Going to c4 potentially. Preparing it. Preparing it to have power, you know, to play b4 and with the power. Takes. How are we going to capture back, remember? Queen. So you have before break, okay? You want to have the queen for the before break. Now, don't take him. Let him take you, okay? So what do you do? You go for attack. See, uh, this is 
you could see, you could tell already that the white is already did something wrong here. I think taking was a mistake also, inviting the rook to come in, you know, that also wasn't the best. I think he's already in trouble here. By doing this, it's just, it's very dangerous. I think this uh, player perhaps missed this a4 on b4 idea, Urkadale, because, I don't know, maybe he was thinking just b4, a4, and he thought, okay, I'm doing all right. But obviously he's gonna play uh, this a4 move. Goes back, and now, you want to open up the b-file, right? To be able to do? You got it. Threatening checkmate on b2. And now, neat move here. Who is remembering the neat move by Grandmaster? Everybody raising their hands. Very good. You? Excellent job. Very strong. Yes, threatening a3. Now he goes here. And now, Michael, perfect, rook a2, and now, what's the idea, remember, you, a3, yes, because he cannot push b3, because rook takes b3, really, it seems like so effortless, you know, like, I mean, the white is 2540, is a strong GM, I mean, solid GM, but uh, yeah, he, I think he just played badly because just Sam won very easily this one, which is great. Yes? Coming in. And now finishing touch now. Finishing touch needs to be precise. You? Check out. Yeah. If he comes up here, you take on C2 with the rook and then pick up the queen. He goes here and now. Yes? Threatening this. The only way to stop it, you don't have queen e3. Queen takes a 3 And now simply, let's also get a couple of pawns. Not only are you winning pawns to gain material, you also want to get your bishop in. Because when bishop comes in, then he certainly cannot defend this position. So what is the idea? Queen takes f3. Correct. And now, don't stop it there. Don't stop it there. Continue. Yes? And he resigned. I mean, he's going to lose another pawn, but if this pawn moves, you're not, you're not interested in winning pawns here. What are you interested in here? Moving the bishop. Where? Digna. To H G5. And that is the game over right there. Complete domination. And to... Again, we just have to wait for two more rounds, two more rounds. It's a very close Olympiad. I mean, the, the top three teams, it's pretty clear right now that the fight, fight for this first three places is gonna be involving the Ukraine, US. I mean, at this point, you know, if US doesn't win gold, it's gonna be big disappointment because they've played all the best teams. They defeated almost all the best teams. They were beating Russia. We were unfortunate to draw, but uh, at the moment, I think U.S. is looking very good. So, uh, yeah, but Russia and Ukraine, they're going to be fighting very hard as well because they still have chances. There are a couple of other teams out there that are close, like two points away, like Czech Republic, Georgia. But I think, uh, you know, it's not going to be easy. You know, they're, they, they're going to need to win, which is not going to be easy. All right. Okay, guys, excellent. We have about 20 more minutes left, so we're gonna do some practice games now, okay? Let's let pair you up with some uh, players. So, uh, 